welcome back so as I said in the last video we are going to get some specific student information so first define the root app dot root just copy this again it's going to be get operation since I'm fetching something from the database so student and get students I don't want to get students I want to get student but you need to pass a parameter you need to pass a ID or a name or a title or a section in order to get the student information in this case we'll let's use the employee I mean a uh, student ID okay let's use the student ID so the way you need to pass it in your root you can pass the information using the less than and the greater than symbol in between you need to pass the data so here roll number so this is my root and this is my input detail so you can retrieve this data into your API so let's write a API now definition get student details get student details and uh, roll number now I have the roll number so based on the roll number I need to retrieve the specific student information not all of them so we can use the inline functionality um, student so let's write a logic St student just write a for loop student in student db it's loading student db what will happen is it will fetch all the student data and stored in the student variable but I want to filter a specify student specific student so what you can do is you can write a if condition here and you can write your condition so I want to check the employee ID is equal to the request which I received from the user request so I'm going to write a condition here student lower number equal to the roll number which we received from the user input so basically what is happening is I'm looping all the students and specific I'm checking the specific roll number is available in the existing student DB so here in the student I'll store all, each and every student information I'm fa I'm checking whether the student roll number is contains the in user input roll number So now what we are going to do is let's print the student. Print the student and then return the response. So that we know how to return the data using JSONify. a collection and give it a name and the data which you need to send student so our AP is ready I have the roll number I'm checking is there any student with this roll number in our collection and that's what which we returned here and I print the particular student information it, it will be printed in the console here and this particular turned data will be displayed in your postman response okay so let's test it out just copy the path open your postman paste it 
student so which student we are going to retrieve now because we have um, two students which roll number contains 11 and 12 let's get 11 so 404 so what is the error here student and get student okay so we need to stop the server and run it again because the new changes will not pick it up I click and run python so now open your postman and click send see now you got only the student information which you requested okay let's pass 12 again see so this is how you need to work with the rest apis to fetch the information so in the next video what we are going to discuss is how we are going to update the existing information so when we are updating something we all know that the me method which we need to use is put method okay let's see in the next video thank you